Hey everybody, I'm just doing a carburetor rebuild on this W8 Walbro on my Blackhawk R125. I thought I'd do a quick video about how to do this, how easy it is, and what you should do to make sure it's done right. This should only take a few minutes to explain. Uh, so this sits on the engine like this. This side head is towards the headers. And uh, this side's got the airbox on. First thing you do, you're going to take those two screws out of this side. And uh, then you are going to be able to take this right off of where it connects to the heads. Simple as that. After that, well even before that, take the gas line off. Take this diaphragm line off that runs the uh, from the back of the head to that there thing in the back. There's a thing. A little hose. So after you get those off, you can either disconnect it from the throttle, or if you got a broken, stripped out little throttle thing like I do, then just leave it on there. I threw a box on here to catch some carb cleaner. After you take the front off, it has a little button that's facing out. This is the W8, by the way. Uh, you can take off these four screws. It comes that part will come off and. You don't need to worry about something falling out of this yet. And then there is your needle right here. It's a little needle valve that brings gas in that goes out to the jet, which is right inside there. After uh, you pop this screw off, there is a spring that sits right in there. And you're going to want to make sure that doesn't fall out. Don't lose your parts. With the rebuild kit, it will come with that new needle. And this metal part that comes across here. I'll show you that in just a second. But make sure when you take that off, hold it vertically. So that side's facing up. And take it, that screw off. Bring this out. Carefully catch anything. Maybe even put something to catch stuff that falls out. And then after you do that, those look like this, by the way. This is the back part that I was saying to take off. Mine's a little corroded. So behind that... Is this this metal part faces towards the carburetor and behind that are these parts here that's the spring you gotta be careful it sits underneath this metal yoke looking thing this needle sits here it's hard to know what I'm doing while I'm watching through the camera that sits on that part facing that way and that's the screw that holds that down. Okay. Check. So you got that off. You got your rebuild kit. Looks like that. That's the one you need. K12 SWG. Walbro repair kit. This one was made not long ago. Anyways, super popular carburetor. The next part you're going to do is take off this back part. Where it goes to the diaphragm. Diaphragm is what runs the carburetor and pumps your fuel using this This thing here. You're just gonna bloop 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 punch pumps your gas out All right, so that's it something like this Get rid of the old one bam they only go on one way So pay attention to what you're doing when you take it apart if you look close you can see all the grooves on this side and It's not like grooves on this side I've got in my replacement kit comes with this uh, tan one which is recommended uh, works better against ethanol fuel so if you're using pump gas use that I will use it either way because you never know what you're gonna get wherever you're going if you're traveling this is your speed idle and well not idle this is your uh, high speed needle this controls your rpms for your engine this tells it how much gas to put in so I would you know I would count how many times you before you take this out it goes in the bottom you know I'm sure you kind of have an idea where that's at that's in there before you take it out turn it in all the way until it stops don't torque on it but make a little mark like I did before the carburetor cleaner mark took it off but uh, make a little mark there Somewhere on here, wherever it's kind of pointing, 
count how many times you turn it in and then try to kind of go back to that spot but the factory settings are uh, two and a half turns out from all the way in when you put this all back together so just remember that I'm oh, sorry it's two and one quarter I actually had mine set at two and uh, third I guess it was a little past quarter and so that was working good for me then but now I'm doing I'm actually just waiting on parts now for my uh, to get this carburetor not carburetor my crankcase back together uh, I just did a crankcase rebuild on the rest of the engine it had a little leak in the bottom and I was getting an overheat problem but that's one other video coming up soon for now get your carburetors clean guys this is how you do it take those out get that out of the way put it somewhere special don't lose your spring because the kit doesn't come with spring don't lose that after you get this out and your gaskets out of the way pull that metal screen out of there the kit does come with that that's in the diaphragm side over here it sits in this little hole just take it out replace it you can try to clean it if you want but you get a new one in the kit all right so once you have all the pieces out what you're going to do is take your carburetor straw well you want to have a little straw in your carburetor uh, go ahead and spray right through there spray through there just till it comes out the other side uh, this will go to the jet on the inside and it'll start leaking out down here put your straw down there or your uh, your gas flow needle whatever you call that thing goes spray through there and you should see it coming out of that brass thing brass jet right in the middle and also on the side of your carburetor that faces the engine you will see right inside there there are a couple holes and that is for your idle your low speed you should see carb cleaner coming out of those as well make sure it comes out of all the holes and then and you're pretty much done I'm gonna turn this thing around clean off in there there's just a few little hole spots I'm gonna zoom in it doesn't seem to focus well unless I'm zoomed there we go so right through that hole right there uh, pretty much everywhere you see clean off this edge where the gas is gonna sit clean out through that hole and then this hole right here it kind of leads over to that it goes to the spring or the screen I mean and then the screen goes straight through to where the needle sits so there it is you can kind of see all the way through it almost yep super clean what do you know that's it you're done also uh Let's spray that little hole right there. Make sure that's clear. And that's what you do. Then you put this thing back together. There's a Walbro meter you can buy online. It's a, a carburetor metering tool. Uh, it's, it's on the Amazon. Mine is actually going to be here tomorrow. I didn't use it last time. But uh, I'm going to use it this time. I didn't know about it last time I did this thing. But it ran really good anyways. But what you do is set that tool, it's like a W shape, the middle of the W sits down into this, you set the tool across from here to here, and the outside of the, the W looking thing, the middle of it goes here once you have your needle back in, and um, get this all together, and you want that W to sit on top of this little metal part, let me get, show you what I'm talking about, it sits right there. It'll sit on this, and uh, what you want to do is make sure that it just touches it, and it's not moving it down. It's not, there's not a gap between it. You want it to sit flush right on top of that. And that is pretty much it, guys. Once you've got that set, all you got to do is put it, the gaskets back on in reverse order. But you can see right here, this has got a little hole right there lines up with that hole right there so I mean that goes on one way that hole is just to line it up like this hole here lines up with that little 
peg sticking out right here. So I mean that's simple. This side's easy. Same thing on this side. Make sure everything lines up the way you put it in. Uh, the gasket flat side will go here. Which is the side of it. And then this side with all the like the raised parts that you can see on your old gasket matches up just like you think it would like a simple puzzle and it only goes in one way we got the little pin thing again that tells you that that's right and over here too um, put that piece on and just don't mess the screws up small screws go on the front big screws go on the back and that's it you got a carburetor job is done well of course put this back in screw it down until it hits the bottom don't over torque it bring it out two and one quarter turns and that's on the w8 and then you put it back on your motor i mean just just you know torque these down too tight make sure they're snug uh make sure that's snug you don't want them moving recommend a little bit of medium strength loctite on these because you don't want your gaps getting between any of your carburetor stuff which will cause overheating. Go run your engine on your back and make sure that everything's running good. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I can try to get to you as soon as I can. Don't lose your springs. All right. And uh, let me think, is there anything else you need to know? Just keep everything clean. Keep your motor clean. Wipe everything down and uh, Contact me if you want to send me your engines, send me your carburetors in the mail, I'll take care of this job for you. I'm thinking about starting my own uh, paramotor repair business because I have done so many things on this machine. From frame repairs, I've had to get it welded, which I don't do, but I could get it done for you. I know a guy, or just get a hold of your local welder. I've worked the entire engine, I've replaced coils. I have replaced all everything in it. So if you guys need help, contact me. If you need me to do it for you, ship me your carburetor. I'll take care of it for you. And you guys have an awesome day. Get that motor back together. Get up there and fly. Metal sky high. Bonus tip. Take your new screen, put it on the end of a pencil when you're putting it in. If it's perfect, you can push it down in evenly. I forgot to mention that the gasket goes on the outer side and the, the uh, diaphragm part goes towards the main part of the carburetor. And then on this side, there's actually... So that's two different pieces that make that gasket and the diaphragm. And those both come in there. This is two pieces as well. So make sure that you've got the gasket part towards the inside of the diaphragm, or the inside of the carburetor. And the diaphragm of this side goes the opposite. It goes towards the outer part, just like this. And that is how that works. Alright, so I want to show you guys how the spring goes into there. So that spring goes there. And then this part... Very, very hard to put together. Yeah. Okay, that goes there. He looks a study in age. <laughs> That's normal when you're doing things like this. Okay. Great. Now, we're going to take the screw. I don't even know if you guys can see this. It's going to go there. Got to hold that down. 
schon drei Ende da. Thanks, Jan. You done? You can yep. let go? Yep. Okay. So that's how it's done. This thing, it's the metering needle, metering yoke, and the springs right under that. And just tighten this down really nice and snug. Now, the next part I'll be showing you is how to use that metering tool. And you put it across here, and you set the height of that to get everything right. It looks really low right now, but I will see what's up in the next part of this video. There it is. Simple. All right, everybody. The next day now, I got the tool I've been waiting for. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna do with it. I'm gonna do this. You're just gonna take your metering tool, put it across here, and you want that middle one to touch the metering arm. This one here. So right now you can see that it is a bit low. Maybe you can't see that. There's a bit of space between there. So all you're gonna do, you can use this or your nail or whatever. Just bend up on that a little. It don't take too much, it's not hard to bend or anything. And even right there, it's still a little bit low. You want that to touch this just right on. No, not too much. Not too less. And if it's too high, you can hold this down over here and just push down there. Let's see where we're at here. All right, that is touching it and it is not going up. So what that does, is it uh, adjusts how much it's going to lift up on this when you are running the engine. So there you go. That's how that's done. Alright, so to put this back on, the gasket goes towards the carburetor, like I was saying before. And... Um, this is how you do it. There's a little pin right here that you're going to line up with that hole right here. Oh, wait, wait. I think I just turned around. Yeah, so that just goes this way. There's two pins. There's a pin here and down here. Just like on here. So the center pin lines up there. This pin lines up there. And this is uh, pretty straightforward. Now they're lined up. Same thing as this. The pins line up. And get your screws in. Not too tight, because this is an aluminum piece, but I mean, you don't want to strip anything out. You just want to go fly. If you guys need help with any repairs, leave a comment below. Contact me. You can send me your carburetor and I can fix it up for you for a good deal. And, uh, that's all there is today for my video. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Check out more of my flying videos. And um, see you in the sky.